Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Class. So, let's kick off with part three straight away. And this time, we're going to be talking about all the different race lengths that you can do in F123 and the strategies that you need to be, you know, employing for these races 25%, 35%, 50%, and 100% race. What are the different strategies? Do you want to go soft, medium, medium hearts, blah, 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 one stop, two stop? We'll cover that in this video this time around. And very quickly, if you have not checked out part 1 and part 2 yet, make sure you check it out. Link in the description and also in the top right, I'll link it uh, to those first two guides. So the first part was all about you know setting up your tire pressures correctly for the dry conditions, inters and rain as well. Part 2 was talking about your downforce levels, your fuel calculations and all that, tire wear calculation and how downforce plays a factor in that. Now part 3, let's move on with the show already. We're going to be talking about the, like I said, the strategies here. So we'll straight away jump into a race session here. Let's start off with 25%, which is the shortest session length that has a pit stop. And uh, let's keep it dry, all right? Uh, just so we can put on the dry tires there in the strategy page. Tire allocation, you always want to go for a balance allocation in 25% race so that you get two set of soft tires. You can also go for a softer allocation which means you'll get uh, only one set of mediums to use in the race but you have a lot more softs right it's a bit more risky if there's uh, some crashes and whatnot you'll not have the optimal race tire which is the mediums so balance al balance allocation will be your best bet for a 25 percent and let's get into the race strategy by default there's only two strategies around here right uh, in any track pretty much if it's a 25 percent soft to medium or medium to soft which one are you going to choose let me help you with that so here we are on the grid and let's open up the strategy page you'll always see two strategies given to you but just ignore that let's load up the recommended my recommended strategies that you should go for in 25 percent races which is a medium to soft which is the fastest strategy on paper, which means, you know, if there's no safety car or VSC to intervene, just go by your race lap times, by lap times, you know, uh, this will be the fastest strategy. So the only downside of running a medium to soft strategy is that let's say there's a very early safety car that comes out, you'll definitely have to stay out because you cannot get rid of the medium tires on lap one and put on the soft tires till the end. You can, Take a set of hearts if you want to but your race lap time is going to be very compromised towards the end right the hard tires in 25 percent are not a good race tire at all they are not that fast they have a good long life but they are not fast so that's why i'm saying you have to maintain a soft to medium or medium to soft at all times if there's a safety car early on you'll have to stay out um, usually safety car stays out for at least two laps sometimes three if someone decides to rejoin the grid very slowly so if it's a two lap safety car maybe you restart the race at lap three you'll have to do 10 laps on the mediums here right this is for japan but you can see the idea it's not going to work out well for you you'll be quick in the first three four laps of the restart but after that till the end of the race the medium tires the medium runners even the hard runners are going to be quicker than you so ideally you know if you want to use the medium to soft strategy you'll have to wait for a safety car maybe around lap four or five so that you know by the time the race starts at lap six or seven you still have the optimal tire to go on till the end so maybe eight laps you know so if safety car comes on a lap three race resumes on lap five you can still do mediums uh, at the start and softs till the end so this is definitely the best strategy around the safer strategy though is this one soft to medium at any given track um, you know if it's dry right and uh, the reason for that you get on the soft tire at the start and if there's a very early safety car or even you get into a crash or you know you have to pit for damage change your wing you can always take the set of mediums and go till the end from there the mediums are very durable in 25 percent races and it is quite honestly the best race tire to be on uh, you know if you swap it out for a set of hearts let's say you get lap one damage it's just about a second quicker or so but because this tire drop off different 
pace drop off at different level of drop off or you know all different tires right uh, you might as well stick to the medium tires because they're going to be overall the quicker tire here so there you go a quick summary of 25 percent you always go for soft to medium if you want to be safe or if you want to be aggressive and uh, have the you know best opportunity to make up positions and uh, win a race medium to soft is your option and that is it only for 25% so let's skip to 35% races now all right and we resume very quickly here so we want to be changing up our session length from short to medium which will give us access to 35% races and again we'll set it to dry and now tire allocation once again I'll recommend keeping it at the balance allocation so that you have two set of mediums and one set of hearts in 25% race and 35% race you do not need to use the hearts if you need to maybe in 35% yes but you don't need two set of hearts in any time only in 50% race and 100% race it's useful to have two set of hard tires available even that is not always going to be used so let's get into 35% we'll retain the balance allocation here so that we get a, a three, uh, three set of softs to use in qualifying uh, if it's a short qualifying and then uh, you'll get a set of mediums in qualifying and one set of mediums in the race so effectively you have two set of mediums to use throughout the race now ideally you want to do a medium medium strategy if it's a 35 percent race but that is not going to be possible so what's going to be the next best thing again it's going to come back to the default soft to medium strategy right um let's uh, let's go back up to the medium uh, medium soft first uh, this is going to be probably your go-to strategy as well in the 35 percent start on the medium tires and then finish it off on the soft tires the tire wear is going to be slightly different compared to 25 percent it's somewhere in between so it's not properly scaled sometimes so you may find it a little bit difficult to adapt this strategy nevertheless medium soft will still be your fastest strategy if there's no safety car at all uh, like you can see here in japan if it's a um, 35 percent if you have 19 laps of racing right rather than the earlier i don't know what was it 16 15 whichever it was and you want to start on the mediums and you can take it a long way into the race maybe until like lap 8 9 10 11 maybe even lap 12 and then we finish off the remaining of the race on a set of softs you'll be super quick on the softs and it'll be so easy to make overtakes a lap or two fresher tire always makes the difference in any track in this game okay what if there's a safety car right that's the the burning question here uh as you can see i'm physically clicking as much to uh, as i can to the left but you know that's the maximum i could go for if there's a safety car lap four or five for example right and then the race resumes at lap six the earliest say uh, you can take a set of soft till the end but you're close to 80 90 percent tire wear so your option from there is to take a set of hard tires if there's a safety car at that point so this is still very flexible the medium hard strategy is still possible to do in a 50 uh, 20, uh, well I'm getting my words mixed up the medium hard strategy is definitely still possible to do in a 35 percent race <clears throat> now let's say you start on the safer strategy which is the soft strategy and then you move on to a medium uh, at the end this is going to be very straightforward right uh, you start on the medium you can even box a lap or two earlier get an undercut if you are struggling to pass some, some cars and uh, take the mediums till the end tire wear is still there on your side and you don't have to worry about anything in life right uh, even if there's a safety car around lap one two maybe you can stay out but if there's safety car lap one two you can convert it to a soft hearts here because the tire wear will help you towards the end if you know it's a safety car very early like lap four or five you can definitely take the mediums to the end right uh, always keep in mind whenever the safety car comes out give yourself two laps before it's it's a restart so that's what the length you need to go to the end safety car lap four means it will restart at least on lap six if it's safety car lap five that means it will restart at lap seven so on and so forth so medium soft soft medium it's very flexible in 35 percent you can always convert it to a set of hearts whenever you need and that is it again uh, 35 percent again straightforward you can use a medium soft 
and convert it to a medium hard if you need to and the soft medium you can always convert it to a soft hard if needed right and now let's move on to a 50% race which is the most common racing format that we all know till date in F1 23 and also in general for F1 games so far all right and we resume with 50% straight away and uh, we've kept everything the same you know dry session 50% race now and also a balanced tire allocation and we're gonna look into the strategies that we can take a look here naturally uh, I'll, I'll just put a quick disclaimer before I explain right there are a lot of circumstances such as downforce uh, you know safety cars and whatnot that play into a bigger factor here in 50% and 100% races uh, that means you have a lot more flexibility you have a lot more choices within yourself to you know drive better uh, or you know play smart or take it easy for a lap or two and then attack later on uh, you get the options to do a lot of different things with high downforce you can definitely go for something very aggressive like a soft to medium right which is definitely possible but hard to pull off because the tire wear is going to be quite brutal towards the end uh, not just this track uh, in many tracks even the tire, tire drop off is going to be quite bad uh, you compare that to uh, you know the more usual strategy of let's say uh, a hard to medium right a hard to medium around let's say you pit around the same time on paper yeah you'll see it says you know it's a bit slower but realistically when the tire wear kicks in and you have lower downforce uh, the the first strategy here it's going to be so much difficult to handle whereas this one you know you have the tire wear advantage on the hard tires at the start you can carry on into the race much longer as well so those are like a few different things that you can always take up uh, think about now let's cut to the most important thing which is the recommended strategies i can give you right there's going to be differences here and there you know there's always a different strategy you can employ but this is what i will recommend to you if you're just starting out uh, if you have uh, give you a better understanding of what a tire strategy to use in a 50 percent race the safest strategy let's go down here the safe strategy will always be medium to hearts right and you box maybe just before the halfway mark in this case in Suzuka, you can box around lap 11, lap 12, and then take the hearts till the end. Again, this is the most flexible strategy for a 50% race, medium to hearts. Not necessarily the safest, but it's the most flexible because let's say there's a safety car very early on, right? What you're going to do, um, you're probably going to box. Maybe if safety car is at lap 4, lap 5, you can box again. Take another set of mediums and then go as long as you want and if maybe there's another safety car at the end uh, you can go to a set of uh, hard tires you can go to a set of uh, soft tires even so you can always adjust your strategy right so let's say the safety car comes on in these laps so medium medium hearts will be a good strategy as well uh, alternatively you know let's say uh, the safety car comes out again maybe in the same lap five let's just put it right and then you want to go to a set of hard tires straight away right this can allow you to go till the end on the hard tires or you can also switch that hard tires out early and go for a set of soft or mediums somewhere in between of the race so again very very flexible if you start on the medium tires you are able to react to any condition i tell you any condition and that's no no lie here right and that is the safest most flexible you can go for if you want to be faster in your race time that means you have you know overall a faster race lap time you are faster at the end of the race able to overtake cars on a different strategy then what you want to do is you want to start on the hard tires pit right on the halfway mark or just a lap or two after uh, the medium tires towards the end are quite durable with lower fuel there's less tire wear as well and they are much faster so you can pit somewhere between the halfway mark plus about two laps right uh, that's the optimal pitting range usually in 50 percent races hard mediums are not as flexible as a medium to hard strategy but you can still play around with it let's say an early safety car comes out 
what you can do is you can get rid of the hard tires immediately if you're starting on the hards the safety car around lap 3 lap 4 get rid of the hard tires jump onto a set of mediums straight away that fresh mediums is going to be one to one and a half seconds quicker than the hard tires uh, throughout the throughout the, uh, throughout the race right um, each lap you're going to be much faster than the hearts anyway and the only problem is you will definitely have to pit again because the medium tires will not last till the end so for your third stint you can opt for a soft tire maybe with 10 laps to go or if you want to be safer you know you can take a set of mediums that you can you know evenly split out the laps so that way you know overall although it says on the projector race time it's 18 seconds more right but remember it's a safety car everyone bunches up and effectively it's a race restart and you're doing a medium medium from there on which is going to be the fastest way to go there you go right and uh, if you have a set of soft tires make sure to keep that spare uh, let's say you know in in very weird situations sometimes there's another safety car that comes out uh, what you're going to do is let's say you know towards the last five six let the safety car you definitely have to box again so that you can uh, take the set of soft tires the fresh tires are going to help you to re overtake the lost positions anyway easily so don't worry about losing three or four track position in the drive that fresh tire is going to help you out a lot especially in a track where you can easily overtake in uh, with tire difference here like in japan so summary for the 50% races the most flexible strategy is going to be medium to hard right and pit somewhere around the midway or just one two laps before the midway mark whereas the faster strategy is going to be hard to mediums and you box around halfway or just one or two laps after that and there you go that is for 50% race and now let's get into the best part of all which is the 100% races all right and here we go once again to set a session to 100% race make sure you set the session length to full and uh, and your tire location this time around well this is where it gets a little bit tricky right when you have a short qualifying or a full qualifying followed by a 100% race you still want to make sure you are using the balance allocation because that's going to be the most flexible tire allocation if there is no restarts involved right so after qualifying you straight away go into race but if there's a restart after the qualifying that means the lobby is restarted for the race you want to go for harder allocation because you'll get two set of hearts which you can use in the race and depending on the track certain tracks have a very good tire performance on the hard tires and you may want to go for that if you're not sure you can always remain it at balance allocation and let's get into the strategy options for the 100 percent race and just just for reference i'll just uh, you know take the harder allocation here so i can show you the options that you can take with two set of hearts in the race now just uh, another pointer here for 100% races you can always start on the soft tires medium tires or even the hard tires the best strategy is always going to be a two stopper if there's no safety car involved so okay here we go i know what you can do don't let me down yeah i know what i can do as well jeff thanks mark okay you can start on the soft tires or the medium tires these are the recommended tires to start on for a 100% race try not to use the hard tires at the start because the pace is a little too slow when you have full fuel on board but if you want to use the hard tires in your middle stint then that's okay because the hard tires are very consistent during that period so let's go into the strategy here again you know the game will show you one thing but uh, experience is another i uh, will start off with the most flexible strategy let's say let's put it that way right um in a 50 percent race uh, in a 100 percent race i will always recommend you start on the medium tires because if you start on the soft tires it is very very easy to overheat the tires um, you know in the first thing so the soft tires although they are fast but they're very prone to overheating uh, in a 100 percent race especially early on so you want to save the soft tire usage maybe 
in your second and third stint only, right? First stint, start on the medium tires, and then in your second stint also, you can use a set of medium tires here, right? So you can uh, maybe take 20 laps, yeah, let's just put 18 laps in Suzuka, right? So you take 18 laps and then you take another 18 laps on the on the second set of medium tires and then for your final set you can actually you know match the same number of laps with a set of softer tire here uh, that's because you know from the start till the end of the race you know if you just divide the race into three sections right of equal laps so 18 18 17 in this case right uh, you can do medium medium soft quite comfortably that is if there's no safety car right and uh, this is where things get interesting if there is a safety car involved in a 100% race. So we'll talk about that in this second strategy here. Say you start on the medium tires here and then there's a safety car, well, you know, like, I don't know, very early on. And uh, you decide to go on a set of hard tires here on uh, maybe lap 10, that's a safety car, right? Whenever there's a safety car, always take fresh tires in this game especially in 50 and 100 percent races the lap time difference you get on the fresh tire is going to make or break your race right go for it just go for it don't worry about track position early on you can make the overtakes now you take the hard tires and you can go quite long into the race you will definitely need a second stop from there on right let's say lap 10 a safety car comes out you resume at lap 12 the hard tires can do easily half race distance similar to the 50% race but because there's less tire wear again in in 100% it's scaled down right you can manage your tires a little bit easily you don't have to push fully and maybe drag out for 27 28 laps around here and then for the final stint you have the option to go for a set of mediums or a set of soft tires both are going to be quicker or slower depending on how you drive it. The softs are going to be quicker at the start of the stint and towards the end, they will drop up a little bit. Whereas the mediums will be a little bit slower at the start, maybe half a second or so. But towards the end of the race, the lap time is going to be very consistent and you're going to be much faster, right? So you can even uh, box early from the hard tires and then do about 20 laps. So you space out the hard and the medium tires into equal distance here. That is the beauty of 100% race. And honestly, I can go on for one hour talking to you about all the possible strategies that are available in a 100% race, but that's going to overwhelm you and even overwhelm myself thinking about it when I was preparing the script, right? So these are the best strategies I can give you for a 100% race. Medium, medium, soft is the go-to strategy that you always see a lot of, you know, 100% leagues use, maybe even medium, hard, medium. And the final strategy that I'd like to suggest, it's possible in certain tracks where tire temperature is not an issue. Let's say Monza, Miami, where you know you can run pretty high pressures and the tires will still not overheat. In those cases, then it's definitely beneficial to even consider starting on the soft tires, right? Start on a set of softs, and then for your second stain, you can take a set of mediums third thing you can also do a set of mediums space it out right and that's going to be probably the best race strategy you can do sometimes you can even pull off a soft medium soft or a soft soft medium right so example of that would be canada because a track well it is a short track but the pit lane is even shorter right? you don't lose that much time in the pit lane uh, with the faster entry and faster exit so you can even uh, uh, extend your first stain maybe 15 and then uh, you can take another set of softs to you know if you want to do more overtakes you want to catch up more positions and then towards the end you just want to maintain your position you can go for a set of mediums or you can you know swap it around you can do a soft medium medium you can do a soft medium soft it is very flexible to move around in a hundred percent race well i think i confused myself enough uh, but, uh, well, if you have any questions, hope this definitely helped you out in uh, planning your race strategy before your 50%, 100% races, and also your 25 and 35% races. Any questions, let me know in the comments section. Also join the Discord server. Uh, you know, there's always 
opportunity to ask a lot of questions over there and share your moments as well. I was going to say meow. Uh, share your best meow moments. <laughs> share your best moments in the server as well with everyone. Let us know how your race strategy, how this uh, setup is helping you as well. And that is going to be the end of part number three. And the final part, I don't know if that's even going to be making it into the final cut next week because final part, part four is going to be talking about race craft, um, you know, race other than race strategies right like you already have the race strategies you have your tire pressure set up correctly uh soft medium soft blah 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 everything set up now it all comes down to your decision making your ers management your tire management and uh, you know choosing when to battle and choosing when to let another person pass all that is going to be in part four which is going to be talking about race craft in general and i'll show you a few examples of these things from my previous rank races uh, that may be helpful to you to make a decision as well so take care everyone once again thank you so much for watching if you love this uh, show your support by hitting a like and then if you're new subscribe as well to you know stay tuned for f124 uh, guides as well track guides and setups are coming out very very soon once the games go live and i'll see you next week take care everyone stay safe and goodbye